Hello. From time to time, it is a good practice to clear up some of the memory space of your X30 to ensure proper function of your X30. We have the ability to pull data to and import data into the X30 quite simply. This procedure will outline what is necessary to do that. We will simply move over to our X30. This procedure can be done with it hooked up to the tank or using your 110 power supply that was included with your X30 kit. In order to do that, we are going to enter this tab with a picture of a garbage can, a pencil, and a USB memory stick. Once we've entered that field, we have at the top of the page a tab. Right now it's indicating category and vehicles. We only have one vehicle selected in there. If I touch on that category tab, I can go through various files, only one in there. We'll go down to our products tab. We have a number of products in there. If I wanted to copy these products out and use them with another machine, we'll outline that procedure momentarily. If I want to get rid of one of these products, I would simply highlight it, or as many as I like. I will take out two products. I've taken out my 184600V and my Chickpeas K. Touch the garbage can, confirming the deletion. Now those products are permanently erased from the memory. The other files we have on this here, we have the ability to rename products by touching the pencil. And I, of course, can rename that if I chose to make that a 2014, 18.4, now I've renamed that product. If we insert a USB memory stick into the side or rear USB port, we will notice that these buttons will change color down at the bottom. Now they're blue, bright blue, on the USB stick indicating that it's in there. There is one indicating a cylinder going to the USB stick and USB stick to the cylinder. That cylinder that you're seeing down here indicates the memory and user configurations that the customer has set up for the whole X30. If I press that button, it'll transfer all of the customized settings, all of these settings, into the USB stick. If I choose to just select one, I can highlight all of the ones I want to select. And now over on the right, it goes from the hard drive to the USB stick. I touch that one. It's transferred all those product files to that USB stick. Six files, one, two, three, four, five, six. Confirm. Now I can reject or eject this USB stick, take it to another X30 and import that same product file. If we choose to select the whole hard drive to back up all of our user configurations for a year, we would touch on this indicator, back up all the files. Based on how many field maps, variable rate maps, and other data you have in there, we have similar files, that's the product files I just entered in there, and we'll copy yes them all. These may take up to a few minutes to copy these files all over depending on how much memory you've used up in your X30. Now I strongly recommend you take this memory stick 
and put these files on your computer in your house. Save them for safekeeping because of course we can import those same settings back into another X30 and you shouldn't miss a beat if you have problems with your X30 and need to get another X30. Now we have all the files transferred to our USB stick that we chose to transfer to. Now it's very important to press the USB eject button before removing our USB stick so we don't corrupt any of the files. And again, take our USB stick into the house and keep it for safekeeping, possibly copying these files over to your computer for future reference. Thank you.